So remember that medicine that uh, many people were supposed to take, were obliged to take, mandated to take, or else they'd lose their jobs? You know the medicine I'm talking about. Well, there's some interesting data coming in. You see, you can hide a lot of stuff, and you can bullshit your way through a lot more, <laughs> right? But there's one thing that you, you can't really bullshit. You, you can't, like, explain it away. Remember, you know, that they're saying that a recession, they used to say that a recession was two consecutive quarters of negative growth, and now all of a sudden they redefined it, right? Yeah, you know, you might be able to redefine um, a recession, but you can't redefine what it is to be alive or to be not alive. Hmm? See, if a person is alive or dead, that's a binary. If a person exists or does not exist, it's a binary. Something horrifying is happening. And very few people are paying attention, but a few are paying attention very carefully, and they are freaking out, and with very, very good reason. Well, you see, what's happened, starting really like around January of this year, is there have been two things going on. Number one, there are more deaths. And the number of deaths is increasing every month. Now, this is, these are not deaths from COVID, from cancer, from myocarditis, from anything. No, it's all causes. All causes. Now, this is worrisome because, you see, the, 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 the graph of deaths is very steady. You can put, you know, 10 years together of graphs, and they're going to parallel each other very, very closely. The variation is going to be very minor. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be certain moments during the year where there are more deaths, like, uh, you know, Christmas, New Year's. There's always more deaths at that time of year. Yeah, for various reasons, people commit suicide, people hold on until Christmas Day and stuff like that. Anyway, the point is that the graphs are very, very similar. But starting in January of this year, the graph that is, you know, always very steady, it's starting to go up month over month. All causes, like I said. But interestingly enough, the age groups tend to correspond to the people who got the you-know-what. Now, that's issue number one, mortality. Now, there's issue number two, natality. You, you're married, you love your wife, your wife loves you, and you say, let's have a baby. And you try and you try, and, you know, maybe she gets pregnant, maybe she doesn't, you know, it happens. Mm -hmm. But you're only paying attention to your thing, right? But when you look at things statistically, insofar as natalities are concerned, again, it's very steady. The graph is ex exceedingly steady year over year. Mm -hmm. You put together, again, 10 graphs of 10 years, and all the lines are pretty much going to parallel one another. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be very, very close. Except starting in January of this year. Now, there was one uh, graph I saw, I think it was Great Britain that the first month they saw a drop in natality of a little over 5%. And that was like, whoa, that's weird. And then the next month, it was a little over 8%. And then the month after that, it was 11%. The drop in natality is increasing. And people are seeing it all over the place. In Taiwan, it's something like over 25% at this point. And you could say, well, it's Taiwan. They're worried about China. The rate of mortality is increasing. And the natality is decreasing. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You don't. You know, I, I'm telling you something, you know, and you can be like, oh, he's full of shit. No. What I want you to do is go look for it yourself. I mean, come on, you're an adult, you know how to read and write, and you've got Google. I mean, if you're watching me, you got access to the internet. So Google it. Google it for yourself. Spend the 10, 20 minutes that it takes. Instead of like playing, I don't know, what stupid game, spend the 10 to 20 minutes to look up the data for yourself. 
and you're going to find that data. More people are dying, and it's increasing the pace of these deaths, the number of these deaths month over month. And fewer children are being born month over month. It's increasing, or, you know, the, 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 the lack of children is increasing. And there's no way to hide this. See? See, because, like I said, you can bullshit a lot, you know? You've got COVID, you don't have COVID, you have a recession, you don't have a recession. You can bullshit a lot, but you can't bullshit whether someone's alive or dead. You can't bullshit if somebody was born or there was no birth. Because for every dead person, there's all kinds of paperwork, and sometimes the police get involved just to make sure that it was on the up and up and not, you know, some relative that wanted access to the life insurance money. You know what I'm saying? And insofar as births are concerned, even more so, all kinds of paperwork, doctors, this, that, the other. You can't bullshit these numbers. And the numbers, the raw data, is telling a horrifying story. And it's not a story that people are going to be talking about in the mainstream media for a long time until all of a sudden people start to say, what the hell is going on? And they're going to start saying that real soon. Understand what's going on.